All right. Um, <laughs> so you want to do another believer, or do you want to talk to somebody who uh, I'm, needs a little help? I'm curious about what this inner circle of atheism is. Yeah, me too. Canadian Catholic in, surprise of surprises, Canada. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm, uh, you know, I'm honored to be here. And when I saw this provocative titles th- that you use, I was uh, more motivated to come in and, uh, you know, spread the enlightenment, so to say. <laughs> Rock on. Have you been listening to the show so far? You guys are a wonderful host. You guys are doing uh, an awesome job. I, well, thank you. I, uh, you know, Eric, you personally have a very soothing voice, right? I feel like I'm tempered with it. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, shucks. Got a second career in ASMR if this goes down south. Yeah, right. You guys are. You, you guys are. So, you know, I heard just now, Eric, that you are an ex Christian atheist, ex born again Christian atheist, right? Yes. Okay. So I atheist. was a Christian for 17 years, and then I became an atheist, what I like to call an inner circle atheist, basically someone who <laughs> understood the someone who was logically an atheist right so you're skeptic yeah sorry uh i was i understood how atheism works worked i used to talk with other atheists i used to engage and now i have changed my mind okay Okay. so just so we're clear before we move forward you're saying that you were a skeptic are you still a skeptic I am still a skeptic, but my skepticism has led me to conclude that atheism no longer makes logical sense. I am incredibly interested. Um, Oh, wow. (laughs) Please continue. So my view is that ultimately, right, even if atheism was justifiable to a certain degree, okay, even if it was once justifiable to hold, when we add up, all uh, semantics, the evidence, the logic, it is no longer something justifiable to hold, even if it's a lack of belief. Does Why? that make sense? Could you so, explain? Yeah, maybe clarify what evidence we're adding up. Evidence for oh, sure, sure, atheism sure. or for theism? No, no, sh- sure. I mean, when I was leaving the inner circle of atheism, it was a journey, right? It wasn't something that happened overnight. I did not wake up and, you know, start being a papist. It was a journey of like away from godlessness and then slowly embracing Christianity and then discovering the Roman Catholic form. So the first thing that really okay. got me thinking, okay, okay. sorry. Uh, you're using so much terminology that feels like each piece can be a conversation on its own. Right. You say you moved away from godlessness. Uh, Are are there qualities that make, that that are godless? Like what is... No, no, I I, I used that term godlessness interchangeably with atheism. I I don't want to keep repeating myself. Okay. Okay. Got it. Um, it, If you can keep using the same word, it helps us. Um, That way we're... No no worries, no worries. It's like if somebody exchanges the word belief and faith and trust... It is a nightmare to have a conversation about. Oh, yeah. No worries. No worries. Okay. okay. So here's the first thing that really got me thinking, okay? okay? As an atheist, as an atheist, I say, I used to say that I lack belief in God. And I, and I think that is what you guys say too, right? Mm-hmm. But my problem is that I was waiting for someone else to define what God they believed in and then decide whether I lack decided whether I lacked belief in it or not. I personally held to the idea that there was no coherent definition of God. Does that make sense? Yep. So my issue then becomes that how how can you lack belief in something that you can't define? Got it. That's a really good question. Okay, there you go. Now, sure. now you're good, right? Uh, so so um, it... it, it it's a couple pieces. Uh, the first makes me think of being non-stamp collectors, mm-hmm. um, oh, sure, sure. right? Um, yeah, um, that different stamps can be printed, and you either collect them or you don't. Um, mm-hmm. The the definition of a theist is one that would hold so long as we haven't been convinced as of yet. I mean, I think you're talking oh. to two people who, you said you were an inner circle atheist. Oh, yeah. So okay. I, have you read The God Delusion? Oh, oh yeah. I've okay. been in the same boat. We're both, si- we're both sixes on the Dawkins scale. 
All right. I hate the Dawkins scale personally. Okay, but would you yeah. would you say you're a six? Yeah. 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 So just to clarify something, I understand what you're saying. That non-stem collector analogy, I've heard all of it. But yeah. here's what I'm trying to tell you. You can lack belief in all the proposed religious versions of God and still not be an atheist, right? Um, well, I, so two things. Number one, if there were no religion, the term atheist would be a nonsense word. Right. Um, we're not, well, not uh, we're not adhering to a word at the expense of the definition. Oh, we sure, are using the word atheist because it de describes not believing in any of the gods in the religions that exist. But or that have the problem. been presented Some to people, right. for example, pantheists have proposed things that they see as God, something like the universe sure. or the words of the universe. I, and right. I, I, when those people have called in, I've said, okay, I accept your definition of God. Um, now, show me that it's useful to use that definition. Um, if, if somebody redefines the universe as like God, man, it doesn't actually help a conversation. It just muddies the water. Right. So, kind of not waste time because I know you've got, you guys are limited, right? You've got yeah. other callers that want to take all the time. But here, here's what I've been trying to say. Essentially, from my perspective, to say you lack belief in God in general is to say that you have some workable definition at least. But the problem is that we, I at least did not have any definition. I was waiting for someone else to define it and then decide whether I'm convinced or not. Well, so I, I, I first moved into it from my definition of God. Also, you're assuming that the default, ex like our default existence is believing everything until we can find things to disbelieve. That's not at, that not in the slightest, but you do realize V, and I like your name V. Actually, there was a moderator at uh, some Discord. She also had that name and it sounded like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you should, but what I'm trying to say that um, well, um, oh, I'm not ahead. saying that we have to believe what is given to us. That that's just what I'm trying to say. What I'm saying is that you can be a non-religious agnostic without being an atheist. Okay. You understand that? So, oh, okay. Yeah, are, mm -hmm. are, are so are you with the the Steve McRae type uh, prescriptivist? Uh, yes. So on my okay. journey, it went on the Steve McRae type thing, right? And then I kind of like went ahead, ahead, and now, now I ended up in, uh, you know, Roman Catholicism. Got it. Cool. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Um, Steve, look at what you've done. Look at this. Someone clip this and send this to Steve. Steve, look at what you've done. Okay. So, uh, so Canadian Catholic, can I call you CC or something? Okay. A CC, name. Okay. okay, CC. Mm -hmm. That's way better. CC, dude. Um, mm -hmm. Being a prescriptivist is. Do you, do you want to? I'm kind of at a loss. Yeah. Okay. So it comes down to how we're deciding to use language, right? So there are some people who decide that a word has a definition, and any other versions of that definition are by default wrong and should not be used. There are other people, and I fall into this other camp, that are descriptivist, which means that mm -hmm. I will use words as they are being used in a situation. It's called pragmatics, right? So it's mm -hmm. semantics, which is what the, what the word means, and then pragmatics, how it's being used in the context of the situation. So mm -hmm. uh, it comes down to that. I think that if I can speak for Steve, uh, he, is, he is latching on to a prescriptive prescriptivist mm -hmm. version of atheism, which is the mm -hmm. uh, the assertion that no gods exist, and it's a positive claim. And that is, you know, not how the majority of people who call themselves atheists use that word. And so when I say atheist, my descriptivist approach is to say, how are people using this word? And they're using mm -hmm. it to mean I don't believe in any of the gods that have been presented to me because I don't have sufficient mm -hmm. evidence. Um, and that's a, that's a, not a positive claim. That's um, do, do you okay. understand where I'm coming oh, yeah. from with this? I, I perfectly understand. I, I've heard this. As I've said, I've, I've been in the boat and uh, I've heard these, but I'm trying to get you to realize what I'm trying to say. My point is if tomorrow somebody told you that I worship my football as God, mm -hmm. would you stop being an atheist? Well, I would have to accept their definition, and I would reject their definition. If you definition accept of their definition, and you okay, yeah, that, that that's a that's that's a, um okay. If I accept their definition, if I believe there's a God, then I believe there's a God. 
that's a tautology now. Yeah. Yeah. If I if, if I accepted the Christian claim, then I would be a Christian. Sure. So to just to move it a little bit uh, from the conversation, here's the question that I've been trying to also ask you. Now, okay, you kind of I think we kind of made sense of where how my journey went, right? From atheism to mm -hmm. Steve McRae type agnosticism to well, some form of theism to some form of Christianity. Right. Well, I, and I, so so I, I got the journey. What okay. was the convincing thing? Yes. Right? You're, yes. I, I mean, you're being a tease, man. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, yeah. we, 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 have, we have other callers. I want to get through and I, I come on, now's the time. That's you good. can convince yeah. us. Do it. Right. So I think I the guess. part we were interested in is from when you get to some mm -hmm. form of theism to mm -hmm. Christianity. Where was yeah. that leap? How did that okay. happen? So, so that link is, for, from my perspective, this is it, okay? And, and I'm going to try to describe it as perfect as I can. There are several pieces of, um, I would say, evidence, broadly speaking, that for me add up to point to Christianity with some degree of confidence, with acceptable degree of confidence. Does this make sense? Uh, well, there can be very many pieces of very bad evidence, and that doesn't make it mm -hmm. better evidence. So yeah. I'd have to hear what these pieces were. Okay. So there are several categories. One of the categories I could bring is that there are some things which we could have predicted to have been in place had there been a transcendent mind. This is, I'm not saying this is strong evidence on its own, but when combined with others, this adds to the level of confidence. Do, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Is this the contingency argument? Well, it's a combination of contingency and teleological arguments, right? So the issue is that we observe a universe that can be logically seen. Okay, but, is, but that doesn't get you to the Christian God. That gets you to some form of deism at its most generous form. So where where does that leap happen? Oh, okay. Okay, so a step from that is the evidence that this God, deistic or theistic, communicates with people. That's the next step. Okay, and how did you figure that out? There are many things we could talk about, but one most uh, convincing thing is that all cultures across the um, planet have an innate religi religious desire to connect with this first cause. And they all have these ideas of a priest, of a shaman that communicates with this first cause. Okay. Okay. CC, dude, let's, mm. let's, let's break that down just a little bit, right? Mm. Um, People make up stories to explain the things that they don't know. Sure. That is, in essence, what you just said. People no. make up stories to explain the things that they don't know, and that is a common human characteristic that has happened sure. across history. So what? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. What I'm saying is not the stories they make up, but this innate evolutionary desire to connect with the transcendent mind. So bullshit. Bullshit. CC, bullshit. No. Prove that a, a a inner desire to connect to a transcendent mind, really? Who okay. I, I I mean, I, hmm. go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. First off, let's talk about falsifiability, and mm -hmm. I know we're getting off of V's point because that doesn't get us to Christianity, and I'm I'm I, I know I'm pulling away from that, and we need to get back to it. Okay, go for um, it. But. How do you determine whether or not someone's talking to God and making that connection, like you're saying, or they're just oh, bonkers? I, I'm afraid you, you mis misunderstood me. I, I'm not saying that they're legitimately making a connection. Do you think anybody has ever made a connection to whatever this God is? Well, not in the way you think. Not in the, that's not what I was trying to say. I think uh, you misunderstood me. Well, well but I, I, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm asking, though, uh, has there okay. ever been a person who's ever communed with your God? Okay, yes. But okay, how did you determine that that person did that? And then how did you determine that that person is the God that you believe in? This is the, why I was trying not to go here, because now we're in a boat where your presuppositions rule out the possibility of supernatural. Well, you need to actually rule in supernatural. Supernatural doesn't get to join the equation. It doesn't get to join the party until you can actually show that it's viable. Oh, okay. But he, here's the thing. Do you know how I define supernatural or how we define supernatural? Go for it. Okay. An event or an occurrence 
whose ultimate origin lies partially or fully outside of the universe as we experience it. Now, when you're asking for evidence, when you're telling me, show me the evidence, you're, you are demanding the evidence that originates from the universe as we experience it. So you're very, uh, you know, the, when you ask me to show you the evidence, this very sentence in your mind precludes the possibility of me showing you anything supernatural. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an, a, a something to work alongside this. And mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you if you can show me where my example is wrong and your example is correct, okay? okay? Go, go ahead. So okay. in this example of, of um, mm -hmm. supernatural, sure. I'm going to say that is something that is partly or entirely mm -hmm. explained by occurrences outside of this universe sure. as dictated by Eric in the book of Eric. I've been doing it the whole time. Sure, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. So mm -hmm. how did you determine that supernatural is something to rule in? Well, because we start from the beginning. Do you accept that time as we experience it had a beginning. Do you accept that the universe as we experience it had a beginning? That has if, nothing to do with your, your Catholicism. Try yeah. again. But my Catholicism is dependent on several important things. It's uh, not- uh, No, no, it, it, v, v gave them to you. We're, yeah, we are, for the purposes of this argument, we are granting you the most generous thing that we can do, which is, okay, oh, fine. Okay. The teleological, the argument from contingency, mm -hmm. these are, sure. these prove, quote oh. unquote, a deist mm -hmm. entity, which is mm -hmm. the most we can give. And so how does that get us to Christianity and Catholicism? Oh, because, okay, okay. Versus, yeah. versus right. Eric. I, I don't need, right. I don't need, okay, sure, sure. So what I've been trying to say from then on, the determination happens whether this God intervenes or whether he does not intervene. Do you but, understand that? But that every, almost, practically every single God in every single mm -hmm. religion intervenes in the world in some way. How did you determine which God it was? Okay, but now, look, you're asking me that question, but throughout the universe, throughout any other field, we have such problems come up. Why is it a problem that we have to determine out of many gods when we have such problems across all fields? We have to determine which theories. No, 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 no. CC, no, that's not how science works. That's not how science works. You don't say, you, you don't say, we don't have the perfect answer. Therefore, we're going to give it a placeholder perfect answer until we have a perfect answer. Nobody says we have to solve this problem before we figured it out. That's not how science works. That's not how the rest of the world sure. works. So no, that is not a true thing that you just said. I can demonstrate that. So here's the thing. We accept, we accept that there is a reality where this, okay, you've granted me now this, that there is this sovereign being, the estate God or whatever. Now the issue is, if there is this God and people, all cultures have had some view of that God, their own, maybe mythological view, then isn't it too much of a coincidence and isn't the workable assumption, at least in this case, that this God has at least in some point intervened and this is why they have this innate desire to represent this God, to talk about this God, to invent imagery of this God. Does that make sense? That's a big leap for me. I don't understand why that needs to be the case. Well, th th that is the most natural conclusion. So that, no, uh, the most natural conclusion is people sure. make things up to explain what they don't know. That is a conclusion that does not require any magic, any supernatural events. All it does is explain human nature that we can show. Okay, sure. so, so Occam's what, razor cuts that out mm -hmm. entirely. So you disagree that there is an innate religiosity in, peop uh, in people of personal cultures? No, I, I disagree with the fact that you're trying to tell me where it comes from. We are not sure where that comes from. I acknowledge that most religion, most cultures have mm -hmm. a religion and that there are similarities between them. Okay. I but read remember. an amazing interview with someone and I cannot for the life of me remember his name and it bugs me. But his theory, and I'm not saying this is correct either, was that the reason we all have this concept of a provider who is outside of us and yet somehow we are within that provider is because we all have an innate memory of being in the womb. Mm -hmm. Why is that any less likely as an explanation for the fact that people mm -hmm. think about gods? 
Well, remember, for the sake of this conversation, you've already conceded, even though you don't believe that there, there is this theistic being, right? Well, I conceded that, but where you're jumping to doesn't hinge on that at all. It could just be two people talking to themselves. Yeah. It could be the existence of mental illness, which we can also show. Okay, but across all cultures, there's a mental illness that... Yes, could yes. Okay. Psychopathy, schizophrenia. Um, there are there are times that we've directly seen somebody experience a seizure and being and and then have been told, "Hey, well, you were possessed by a demon." Um, we have experienced many cultures that have again tried to explain something they didn't know by making up stories about it. I'm just curious why you think that some kind of worldwide. Uh, mental illness type event is any less realistic than the idea of a, a creator who is intervening supernaturally. Like, where is your baseline of what is ridiculous and what isn't? Well, as, as I said, for, for me, it works the other way around. And this may be because I'm like kind of one step ahead, but that, that well, for, for me, it operates differently, right? I see it from top down. I see from the top we start and we have this theistic being and then if we notice some things we would expect, this reinforces the confidence. So what would we expect if this theistic being had communicated with people? We would expect people to have some sort of desire to connect with him. Okay, so do, you, do you realize you're, you're, it's a self-fulfilling self, self -fulfilling prophecy? You just perfectly you, described you it. You perfectly described what it is like to approach a situation with an idea in your head and then looking for things that support that idea. That's not how science works. That's not how logical thinking works. It's, it's actually the, you know, it's, it's the definition of, um, uh, oh, the, what's that bias? The, yeah. I, Help me. My, 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 my brain. I know. Um, <coughs> confirmation bias. Confirmation bias. Go. That's it. Thank you. Yes, that is the definition of confirmation bias. So. And, okay, go ahead. No, that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting messages. We've got five more callers and, and not too I'm sorry, much time. I won't take any more time. I want to thank you for this engagement, and I, I'm looking forward to, again, connecting with you guys. You're awesome. Definitely, uh, you're CC. Okay. I, I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. I uh, respect you so much. Yeah, okay? Thank you Cheers. so much for calling it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Huh. I don't know what to make of that. I mean, I, I like that kind of conversation. I, I, I do too. It's just... It's just, it's so hard when he's always one step ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just more advanced than us. He's looking down. Well, I mean, he was in the inner circle of atheism. Maybe we just haven't gotten there yet. I, I definitely have not gotten my paycheck <laughs> from, you know, the grand conspiracy. I don't think he believes in the grand conspiracy, but, um, you know, the very first time I went to a convention, I, I remember turning to Russell Glasser. And I was like, okay, so when do I get my check? <laughs> and he's like, I, I don't know. I haven't gotten mine either. Yeah. 